What is good guys, Repkicks here, we're back at it again. We got another review from the famous Kick Who. This is their God Killer batch, the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low OGs. Oh, One of my favorite shoes, you guys already know. You're probably sick of seeing Travis Scott's on this channel or on my pages, but I can't get enough of them. I like to try all the batches. Kick Who has been one of the greatest sellers in the game for a really long time. They've been in the rep game for years. All the trusted seller lists and all the Reddit groups. One of the most famous batches and sellers, God Killer batch. And they're, they're just really, really great. They never miss. I have nothing bad to say about them. I've never had one bad experience. They literally, really, really are one of the greatest. They do rep versus retail comparisons. They're factory videos. So they just are such a great brand. They build a great name. And like they say, it's not just about the name or the shoes. It's about the brand concept. And Kiku is definitely that. Now let's stop chatting and get right into it. So I've had all the Travis Scott lows from them. The reverse mochas, the fragments, the phantoms, the olives. I gotta make videos on them. I'm gonna make the videos on the fragments, the olives next, the reverse mochas but I wanted to do the OG first. I just got these in actually, and they're really, really good. One thing I like about them is the shape is really, really nice on them. You can see it has that real nice toe box shape. The front of this lip right here on the toe, sometimes on reps, it'll be like a little bit more pronounced and straight up. This one has that nice, perfect curve on the front there. Perfect, nice and slim toe box. You can see from this view right here, the shape of that toe box is good. It's got that really nice black nubuck on the toe box there, black nubuck on the upper. I mean, there's a few little strings right there you could see on the edges but you could clip that with a scissor it's no big deal beautiful new buck on here i mean it's kind of hard to see depending on the lighting you can hit it with a brush to get more waves but you could see i just rubbed my finger on it once and it does have some nice waves on the toe there i don't have too great a lighting here to show you the waves you know you only see them when it's really on an angle even if it's like super crazy waves you know you, you got to be on like a nice angle to be able to get it but this is just one little brush of the finger you could already start to see the waves there so really nice quality new buck on the top. You got that nice white leather, tumbled leather swoosh, which is great, the reverse swoosh. All the little details like the stitching, you can see the stitching looks really good on all the panels as it falls around the toe box. The stitching stays real consistent around there. The placement of the reverse swoosh, perfect. It does vary on retail. Sometimes they could be a little higher or lower. It depends, but you know, you want it to be kind of within this range. This is like pretty much perfect placement. So you can see the nice stitching on there. The stitching around the back here. Nice heel tab. It's got the brown sock liner. The lace holes are punched through perfect. You have that nice black tongue, a regular Jordan 1 low tongue. Midsole super clean. And one thing I like about this batch that a lot of other batches have is it's not overly yellow or that pinkish tint to it. So this midsole is really perfect. Get a nice close-up. You can see even the details in the midsole. And the brown paint line on the bottom is super clean. I like to give you guys nice close-ups because other reviewers don't really give close-ups so you can't even see like the really good details. I mean, just look at the details in the midsole. You got that sail stitch around the front of the toe. You know, there's that nice black nubuck again. I'll give you a nice close up so you could see all the little details in the stitching there. So that is the outside. Come over to the inside again. Like I said, it does have some nice nubucks. So I'll, I'll put some waves in it, turn it to the side. It's kind of hard to see because the lighting. I made some waves before when I was looking at it. So you could kind of see some of them left. But if you look, See on there, you could see the waves. I wish I had better lighting because when you turn it on an angle and it catches that light perfectly, you're able to see the waves. But you could see what I'm talking about in this lighting. See, there's some nice waves on it. Back of the heel tab's perfect. Now, the back of the heel tab, you want to make sure that it's shaped just like this. I've seen some where the heel tabs were a little too big. Wings logo on it was the same size as this, but the heel tab was a little too big, so it made the Wings logo look a little smaller, but that heel tab is absolutely perfect. You have that nice big hooked barb swoosh. I love these. I wish all Jordan 1 Lows came with the hooked barb swoosh. I think it looks better, but look how nice that is. Perfect stitching, perfect placement of that barb swoosh. You can see the stitching looks nice on the back panel, the barb swoosh. Look at the nice corner stitch. It's not just straight. It comes on like a little curve here and then goes straight down at an angle. Cactus jack print looks good placement does vary on the cactus jacks see how the c is a little bit above the corner stitch but over on this one this one is just touching the, the corner stitch. That is perfectly fine. That happens on retail. Again, like I said, it does vary on retail. You'll find that out if you look at a bunch of retails. Not all of them are always the same. So you can see the rest of these panels look good. Just that you have that beautiful brown mocha nubuck. The color is perfect. Shape of the toe box. There's that nice midsole again. 
regular Jordan 1 bottom there. So that's the Jordan 1 bottom. See that nice mold? You got the Nike stars up front. So real sturdy midsole as well. You don't have that problem where the midsole's super soft and you could bend the toe. I mean, they're just beautiful. This one's exactly the same. I'll just give you a nice close-up so we don't have to drag it out. You have that nice new buck, that beautiful mocha new buck. Corner stitch looks good. Got the cactus jack just touching the line there in that beautiful red. Also with the corner stitch, see how you're able to see the jack a little bit there the j but on this one you're not able to see it that's perfectly fine that happens on retail usually on the left pair the jack's a little lower placement of the swoosh is good you want to make sure there's this little space see the little gap here between the lace hole panel and the swoosh you don't want this to be too high where it's a lot closer than this you want that little nice slither of space between the inner swoosh and the top lace hole panel all the stitching the lace holes are punched through perfectly toe box shape you got that nice little lip on the front there Beautiful Beautiful toe box shape, all black tongue. Come over to this side, you got that reverse swoosh, perfect placement, nice tumble on it. it. Does have some nice movement on the toe there. So if I take my finger and rub the new buck, you could see the waves already. See that there in the lighting? It does have that beautiful nice waves there you can make that stitchings clean midsoles clean the overall shape is beautiful so this is a great batch if you want a good batch of these i'm telling you you should definitely pick up a pair of these so i'm going to make some waves on the back here so you guys could see what it looks like from the back angle so kind of hard to see like i said i have to get better lighting i'm working on getting a better real studio setup and some great lighting because i've been doing this long enough i should have it but you could see it does have that nice new buck where you can make waves for days on there. Both those heel tabs, like I said, perfect shape. Look how nice and even they are. You got the Cactus Jack frowning face, the Air Jordan Wings logo right there. Both the heels are nice, the nice stitching. The heel tabs, like I said, no heel tab flow like some batches. The shape will be off, they'll be a little big. Nice and centered, the embroidery's perfect. The top shapes right here of this, this round shape, perfect. Now, I wanna tell you something about the embroidery on the back here. Travis Scott Lowe's are notorious especially the ogs for sloppy air embroidery logos so if it gets a little sloppy we're like see the a or the o could be a little sloppy and there's see how the j it's not a full j people think oh air lord and they'll comment on my review or a poster somebody on reddit and say haha air lord and that means it's fake this is retail look how sloppy this is this is other retails take a look at this so people who don't know what they're talking about should not really comment because they really have no clue like i said trap Travis Scott Lowe's are notorious for having sloppy air embroideries on the wing. So that is perfectly fine. You don't have to freak out about it. I mean, it's more of a personal preference. This is pretty clean and retail has it. So I think they're absolutely perfect. There's the smiley face one more time. There's the embroidery, nice heels, nice midsole, nice sock liners. Definitely a keeper badge. Come over to the fronts. It's a little easier now to see the waves in the toe because the lighting, see that there? It does have some nice, beautiful waves. Nice toe box. The toe box straps are real nice and even. You can see the paint line as it goes around the front stays nice and consistent. The stars, the detail in the midsole, that beautiful high quality black new buck on there. And it comes laced up through one lace hole with black wax laces. So they're just regular wax laces. That's what all Travis Lowe's come with. They're just regular black wax laces. So that is exactly how retail is. You come up to here, it just has a regular Jordan 1 black tongue. Cactus Jack tag on the side looks really, really good. You got that Nike logo on there looking nice. Nice font, nice texture. A little bit of red tongue tag bleed, but that happens on retail as well. I don't freak out about it. This is nothing compared to some that I've seen. Cactus Jack there, you have that nice black tongue with the brown around the edges there so that is the front if you come and look at the insides of this one it's got a regular Jordan 1 sock liner just a regular brown mocha brown sock liner there so I'll give you a nice close-up of it nice shape to it it's got a little bit of padding but Jordan 1's don't really have crazy too much padding so you know that is exactly how retail is if you come and take a look at the insole it's got a pretty cool insole in it I love this part this one's got the all black insole they both have black insoles but you can see this one says travis scott it's nike air and it's kind of hard to see but it's got the cactus jack smiley face all the way down there so that's the insole of the right shoe got a regular you know jordan one back of the tongue with the back of the tongue tag text which looks really really great if you come and look at this side there 
is the tag for you people who like the tags. I could care less about it. Go true to size. I go true to size and they're one of the best fitting shoes that you could wear. They're just super clean, comfortable, not too much padding. They're just easy to wear. So we'll look at this one, same exact thing, nothing different. All brown sock liner, nice shape to it. I'll give you a nice close up of the sock liner. And then this one's got a little bit of a different insole. Instead of having the Travis Scott, it's got the red jump man. It's got the cactus jack and then it's hard to see, but it's got the Air Jordan Wings logo in red, all black insole, so all black for both of them. And then there is the tag again, back of the tongue there. Now it also comes with extra red wax laces. So these are wax, just like the black wax laces. You have black rope laces and pink rope laces. I actually like the wax laces the best, either the black wax laces or the red, but the pink looks really, really good in there as well. And then it also just comes with the regular Travis Scott box or the brown Travis Scott box that we all know you know just a regular Jordan 1 box but brown go true to size it's got the 12 there's the tag for you people who want to inspect the tag USD 130 I wish and then it's got the pink paper on the inside there so there's the pink paper it's got the cactus jack smiley face the cactus jack logo the night air wings logo it does have the little green sticker on the side there so that is the box so there you have it guys the beautiful amazing kick who god killer travis scott jordan one lows i've had a lot of batches of these and i've seen a lot of good ones i don't really get bad pairs anymore because i've narrowed it down to some of the best sellers i've been doing this like i said for five years six years now i've had three different youtube channels one of them with over 900 videos that means one pair per video 900 pairs i've reviewed and this one has close to 50 the other one had 30 so i'm up there i really don't mess around anymore kiku like i said one of the best sellers in the game you could look them up on reddit instagram my other videos their black hats are great the best university blue ones i've got best university blue fours i got the travis olives the reverse mochas they're amazing the fragments travis one highs are killer from them they're just all around a great seller i'm telling you kiku god killer batch is the best of the best appreciate you guys watching stay tuned for more. Peace.